All right, hello everyone. This is Sean from Sean's Model Build, and the reason I'm using the digital camera today is because my laptop is malfunctioning, and it doesn't detect my phone no matter which port I use or which plug I use. So I have to use the digital camera to get the uh, video. So because it does detect that. So here's a Dominic's Dodge Charger. You can see the uh, box here. And this shows some of the details that you'll see. And of course you can see how I labeled the instructions already with a color legend. You see, and even chose which paint I'm going to use. And the side effect of using a digital camera is you get a retro feel to the video, which is good for a car that first appeared on screen 22 years ago. This is the part legend, but it's not the only one. Look, there's a whole part legend on the second page as well, going all the way up to part number 151. You can see the legend here, how I've assigned colors to each part that I used to build the thing. And identified the parts you cut off the sprue tree that are not needed all the way through the model itself. And this is more assembly and part colors. Now, they won't all be uh, spray-painted. Some of them are so small that they're going to have to be hand-painted, of course. And you can see everything under the hood here, getting into the bumpers and the front grille. Windshield wipers are a separate piece. That's, that's good. Hood has hinges that you physically attach so that it can go up and down. So let's hope that works. And then of course there are the decals. So I guess you paint silver trim on the car manually. And you have decals or folk art. Depends if the decal flakes away or not. So That's the instructions and we'll have to get to the parts. But here's the decal sheet itself. There you go. California plates, 2016 Ravel kit. So I won't take anything out of the bag. That might take more time than I have left for the battery cart. But here's the windshield in the bag. You can see all the clear parts here. So I'll just put everything upside down as it was packed in the uh, box. Here's the car body. You see it's all in white, so of course I'll be primarized in gray make sure I can see everything. See how the bottom is already attached? Um, here are the two separate chrome tree pieces. One for the wheels, and then this is probably one for the front bumper and the signals and everything. Here we go. <clears throat> Much better background to see everything. See? Those clear parts. And then, of course, you have two separate bags of white parts. So you're going to have the hood, the front grill. One minute here. <coughs> Let me see if I can actually cut open the bag slightly so you can see all the parts that are contained within it. It's a good thing I kept my digital camera all these t past 12 years because it sure comes in handy now. All right, so this has three separate trees, at least. So we have the tree with the seats and the steering wheel. We have the parts tree with the inner doors, the center console, and the front console dashboard. You have the tree with at least some of the engine parts. And you have the tree with the hood, the grill, the fire extinguisher, which is basically for the NOS, all the tailpipes, and there's the hood hinges. So that is that bag. Put everything away, eventually. Put open the second to last bag. Actually, it is the last bag. All right, good. I'm, I'm doing this video this week because I just saw Fast 10 a few days ago. 
and I figured this is the most appropriate kit to unbox this week because I didn't get any model building work done on Voyager. All right, so here are some uh, looks like uh, wheel wells. Give you some suspension, a drive shaft, brake cylinders, I think. Here is maybe that's a differential or something. Here's something else. Don't know the name of all the parts, that's what the part legend is for. There we go. Radiator wall, engine belt, fan housing, grill, and a few other engine pieces that probably fit in. Don't see the windshield wipers unless no no, those are not those are like axle pieces or something. Okay. Horn, probably. So that is all the parts for Dominic's Dodge Charger. It uh, will go nicely once I build it with, again, no pause button, forgive me, with uh, Brian's Eclipse here now. You can hardly see it because the digital camera doesn't show things well, so let's uh, get it where you can see it. There you go. So it'll go nicely with Brian's Eclipse here. So that is the video for this week on the digital camera for a retro look for a car that's probably retro enough now that it appeared on screen for the first time 22 years ago. So, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.